knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck that head out. And this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Now, it's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live in. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. There was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over. In them, no. they even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced him to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Of course, I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this monolith by myself, do you? Nothing but the best for people who stay in my places. Now you're ready to stop whining and listen. So, those half-wits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere broadcasting to him, but without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find the squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have a perfect device to jab up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Right, attach it to the bottom car, and turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now go.